Your LinkedIn headshot is probably costing you job interviews. Most people know they need to optimize their LinkedIn, but they focus on headlines, summaries, and experience. But the data shows that your headshot is actually one of the most critical parts of your profile for better or worse. It's literally shaping how recruiters interpret your skill level, your experience, and everything else that you share in your profile. But hiring a professional photographer can feel intimidating and cost hundreds of dollars. And most people don't trust themselves to take a photo that looks professional. That's why I'm gonna show you how to use Google AI to take a boring selfie and instantly transform it into a professional looking headshot that's photorealistic, professional, and recruiter ready. Let me show you how to do it. So you might be thinking, okay, LinkedIn headshots, you know, mine could be better, but is it really that important? Here's an eye tracking study from the ladders where they tracked specific behaviors from 30 recruiters over a 10 week period. When reviewing LinkedIn profiles, the data showed that recruiters spent more time looking at headshots than any other part of the profile. Why does that matter? A study from the University of York gives us the answer. Their study found that when we look at a picture of a face, we form judgments about that person's character. For example, how trustworthy they might be, how competent they seem. And the kicker, we only need a 300 millisecond glance at that photo to make that first impression. And once it's made, it's lasting. In summary, recruiters and employers are showing up to your LinkedIn profile. They're immediately dialing into your headshot and the impression it gives them influences the way they perceive everything else on your profile. So how do we make it count without hiring a professional photographer or shelling out hundreds? Something called Nano Banana. So what the heck is Nano Banana? Well, it's a new image model from Google AI that's really, really good at doing exactly what we're talking about here, recreating photorealistic images in ways that allows us to basically edit any aspect of that image. So we're gonna start with this boring selfie here that I took of myself. And I actually uploaded it to a website called photofeeler.com that allows you to get objective feedback on your profile pictures. It's gonna rate you on different traits. They're gonna give you feedback and notes. Um, and you can see here what my scores look like. So we're gonna try to beat these with our recreation in Nano Banana. Let's give it a shot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is head to Google AI Studio and I am going to make sure that I have the Nano Banana model selected. Then I'm going to upload the image that I want to use as the basis for my profile picture. And right now it's asking me to uh, create a, an image of a banana wearing a costume. Instead, we're gonna tell it to recreate this image as if it was shot by a professional photographer with professional lighting and to not change anything else about it. Awesome, so Nano Banana basically took me out of the image, it removed the background, it kept basically everything else. Uh, but I wanna make a, a couple of tweaks to this. So first I kinda wanna crop it a little bit so it's better suited for a LinkedIn profile picture. Um, but I wanna look a little bit nicer too, I wanna get dressed up. So I am gonna tell Nano Banana to make that crop and I'm also gonna tell it to put me in a professional looking navy blue button down shirt. So now I've had my wardrobe change, I'm looking good. Uh, but the background still feels a little bit flat to me. So I'm going to go ahead and tell Nano Banana to adjust the background color a little bit, um, but also add some texture and some different lighting so that it really highlights my head, creates a little bit of a halo around it. Perfect. So now we're looking good. This is basically a professional headshot. Uh, and this next step is really up to you if you wanna take it this far. I think one thing that I could do to have improved this if it were a real life photo shoot was maybe have styled my hair a little bit, put a little bit of effort into it, but I'm just gonna have Nano Banana take care of that for me. I am going to tell it to style my hair so it looks a little bit more professional and we'll see where we get. All right, so we have a very handsome fella here. This is looking very, very different than where we were at when we started this process with me sitting in my living room. So the real question here is is how does this stack up to my original profile picture? You can see that we just created this in literally 30 seconds or so here, but is this really going to be better? What does the internet think? So let's find out. All right, let's see how we did. So we started off with my living room selfie here. Competency and influence weren't the highest, which <laughs> no surprises there. And it looks like the living room version of myself is more likable than 80% of the pictures that have been uploaded. So I will take that but there's definitely some room to improve. So let's see if we were able to do that with our edits. Nice, it looks like we upgraded across the board. Competency jumped up to an 8.1 and landed in the top 20%. Likeability increased and influence improved too, so that is a win across the board. Now, I think there's still some adjustments we could make. For example, the picture could be a little bit brighter, a little bit more clear, and you can make those tweaks within Nano Banana and with other software as well. But overall, I think this is a massive improvement from where we started, and I would feel super confident putting this on my LinkedIn. So I'd encourage you to play around with this a little bit, experiment with things, maybe make them 
them a little bit more formal. Maybe make them a little bit more casual and fun. Maybe make them a little more cozy but just make sure you don't get too carried away. And as you're experimenting, if you want the free prompts that I used in this video, you can head to austinbelsack.com forward slash headshot. They're all there, they're totally free. You can copy and paste them and use them for yourself. So with that said, happy headshotting, and I will see you in the next video.